Hello, today we are going to learn some some sign programming scripts. These are conveyor belt pieces. To make your own conveyor belt piece, so I'm just going to bring up the scripts menu so you can see. A calm, a calm conveyor and not a very powerful one should have this on collide script. It's E other vel, e, vel for velocity equals three in X zero in Y for a for a conveyor belt get, that goes to the right. To the left, it would be this, and you'll get the idea. So let me show you, a t talk to you about sign variables. So it always starts with an E, and this is a period, and then this, the object that we're programming, or other, the object that's colliding with, vel, Whatever, whatever variable in here is around here in the scripts menu that is there's also on there's also on die which is where it gets deleted on hit by laser on key on spawn. There's also a post step. This, this is what it always repeats. A step it always repeats. It won't stop. This, so this post step is basically moving the texture matrix. I mean moving the arrows. I'm going to put these two together so you can see it better. There we go. All right. This white block is makes things fly. It does it by changing its changing its density so that it's lighter than air. Oh, and this only works when you have air resistance and buoyancy turned on right here. You see this green circle? You This button needs to be on for it to work. So now, let us see it in action. And to get back to falling back down, there is this red block, which, 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 also, which just restores its density. Let's see this in action. By making it heavier than air again. So how dense, so so how light does something have to be to be lighter than air? So it has to be have a density of one thousandth, one thousandth, one thousandth of I mean a milligram per cubic per cubic. It has to be, it would have to be a milligram per, per, a gram per cubic meter. Now this box that says click me, when you click it, it'll melt. 
So let's look at what makes that happen. So if you want the object to do something that's in its menu, you just type that ob you just type in that action so it says here liquify. So when we click it, it liquefies. This box changes the color of anything that touches to its color. Let's see it in action. Now let's look at its time programming. It says E other color equals E this color. Make sure the variable you want to change is before the variable that is going to change the other variable. This laser does the same thing as that box, changes the color of what it hits. Let's see it in action. You see, the ground only turned red because that laser was deflected onto it. You, if you don't want the laser to turn something its color, you have to make sure that not even the dimmest part of the ray can touch it. I mean, the laser. So... Let's just look at its scripts menu. It says on laser hit E geom color equals E laser color. When you want a laser to interact with the geometry, you you type in geom instead of other. If you want a geometry to to interact with the laser. You use E this for that geometry in on hit by laser. This block here will will disappear when I click it. Its script menu says when I on click. Look Use the on click. E this time to live equals zero. You don't type in a race, you type in E this time to live equals zero. And last but not least, teleporters. The inside and the outside have different time programs. The in is E other plus equals scene my whatever name you want to put in there. And set and do E other velocity equals zero zero so that it won't start falling extremely fast. Now let's look at the out part. It simply holds the variable inside its post step command. Scene my tip knot. So it's holding so good. the variable. Da, 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 and buzz means its position. Alright, and that's all the sign programming I have to show to you. So good. Goodbye. So good.